Hi everyone, it's Miss Julie. So we're continuing on with part two of our spring scene setting. Okay, so we did the tree, we did the sun, and we did the flower. Now we're gonna work on um, some insects, okay? So we're gonna start with a butterfly, then we're gonna do a bee, and then we're gonna do a caterpillar. Then we'll add them into our setting. All right, so let's start with a butterfly. We all love butterflies. We wanna draw a circle for the head. Okay, then you're gonna draw his body. It's gonna be a long oval, but it's not going to close. It's gonna start from his neck, go down, around, and up. So it's a little bit smaller there, okay? That's the neck area. Now we're gonna add in some, uh, some wings. We're gonna do four wings, two large ones on either side, and two small ones. We're working on balancing. So we want this wing to be the same size as this wing. Okay, so I'm gonna start. They're gonna start right up by his neck and come down to the, about the middle of his body. Okay, now I wanna look and try to match that on the other side. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing at the bottom, but this time I'm gonna make them smaller. Now I'm gonna to try to match that small one on this side. Okay, just do the best you can do. Then at the top, we make his little antennas. I always like to give my bugs a happy face because it makes them look cute. And if you want, you can just leave it like that. So when you color your butterfly, it could be a solid color or maybe you do each wing a different color. Um, but if you wanna add some patterns, if you look at butterflies, sometimes they have uh, different patterns and their patterns are also symmetrical, meaning that they're the same. So a pattern on this side is gonna be the same as on this side. So I want you to try to match those patterns and then you can match these two patterns, okay? So it might look something like you might have a circle, a big circle on each side. So I'm going to do both of those first before adding to my pattern. Okay. Then you might have a few ovals. One, two, three. Each time they got smaller. Now I want to do the same thing on this side. One, two, three. Okay. Um, maybe you want to do something down here, a smaller circle. This time I'm going to do just two little ovals on this side and two ovals on this side and the same thing over here. Okay. Uh, let's see, we could maybe add in some little kind of like teardrop type shapes where it points at one edge and it's round in the other. So that's like a good teardrop. That also works really good for a leaf. Okay. So you can add any more patterns, but that's gonna be fun to color once you actually get to your coloring stage. So there's our butterfly. Next, we're gonna do the bee, okay? As you can see, circles become very useful in art. There's his head. Now, just like the butterfly, uh, we're gonna have his body come out from here where his neck is. He's gonna be flying, so it's gonna be a sideways view. Okay, so this is gonna be an oval. His body should be bigger than his head. Okay. Then we're gonna add, um, let's see, let's just do one stripe. Like that, he's a bumblebee. And you can color it in later, but I'm gonna color it in now so you guys can see. That's his black stripe on his body, okay? 
We're going to put the two antennas on just like the butterfly. Give them a happy face just like the butterfly. I don't tend to do noses when I draw bugs. <laughs> and then we're going to give him two wings at the top. Just kind of like that, and one tucked behind it. Okay, and then he's an insect, so he has six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those could be straight if he's walking on the ground, but if he's flying, it's good for them to be bending back a little bit. Okay, you can give your bee more stripes too if you want. So there's our bee. And last is going to be our caterpillar. Once again, our circle, we all have been drawing lots of circles. So basically the caterpillar is just going to be a bunch of circles, uh, but the trick is to make sure they're connected. Okay. So you don't want a bunch of loose circles just running them around. So we have our head. We're going to put on the antennas now so we can remember that this is the start of our caterpillar. Then we're going to draw his body. So connecting the circle. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And we want to give him some legs. I looked it up because I wasn't sure how many legs a caterpillar has. A safe bet is to go with 16. So if you can count 16 and fit 16 little legs in there, we're going to do these ones straight because caterpillars don't fly. Not yet. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, so there you have your caterpillar. Now we're gonna get up our scene back up there. Put this one down. And put this one back up. Okay, so remember this. Now we're gonna add what we just learned. Okay, so it's gonna be a little bit harder to see. Let's see if I can bring it forward a little bit because bugs are small, so they're not gonna to be too big here, okay? All right, so we know that butterflies like to fly, so I'm going to make my butterfly flying over here in this big open space, kind of needs something, okay? So he's gonna be flying. I'm gonna draw him at an angle. There's his head. There's his body. His two big wings up top and his two little wings in the bottom. And his antenna. I'll have to add in my smiley face with a smaller pen if I want to add it. Okay, so there's my butterfly. Once again, you can do the patterns on him if you want. You can even add a few butterflies. Then let's see, we have a bee. So it uh, might be fun to make the bee flying around a flower since they like to eat from flowers, right? So I'll put my bee right here. Circle, his body. I'm gonna do two stripes this time. I think that will look nicer. His antennas, his little wings up top, one goes right behind. You see how that one's just peeking right behind. His little legs flying, one, two, three, four, five, six, because he has six. Oh, don't forget the pointer, his little stinger. I forgot his stinger last time. Okay, I think I have room for the face this time. Let's try. There you go. Sometimes you have to switch to a smaller pin for detail, but 
Okay, so we have our butterfly and we have our bee. And which one am I forgetting? Does anybody remember? It's a long body with 16 legs. A caterpillar. So you might want this guy just like maybe just hanging out on the ground. Maybe he's even tucked here on top of a branch. That would be a good place for him too. Okay, I'll put him over here for now. He's going to be going this way now. One, two, three, four, five, six. You want to make this his face. And then you don't want feet underneath his face, just under all of the other circles. Okay. There we go. They didn't quite count 16. Let's put one more circle. I'll make him a longer caterpillar. It can kind of be as long as you want. You just don't want it to be too long because then you're getting into centipede territory. territory. So we'll talk about that later. Centipedes have a hundred legs. Okay, so there we go. I think one last thing I'm gonna add that's easy just to put in now and that's um, a variation of a bird. And that's just making a little arch. We'll do them up here. See, just kind of like the tree little M's. You could do them flying, a big one and a small one, some birds off in the distance. Now your scene is ready to color. Okay, so have fun. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye.